and today we are talking about tooth gems. That's right, gems for your teeth. And I've actually had mine for over a month, maybe a month and a half now. I wanted to wait a little while to talk about it because I just want to spend some time with it and be able to tell you my experience with it. And we're also going to talk about how it is applied and what different kind of gems and charms you can get attached to your teeth. I first heard about Tooth Gems a couple years ago and my friends went over to Thailand and they got it done over there and their procedure was much more invasive. They actually got um, holes drilled into their teeth and they got little diamonds inlaid in their teeth and this is definitely not like that. These gems are actually just glued onto your tooth so you don't really have to worry about any holes being made in your teeth. My girl Courtney who does my lashes also does tooth gems and we've been talking about it for months and months so I finally was like alright I'm gonna go for it and the day that I went in to get it done I was fully ready to get this little Swarovski crystal but then I saw this little star and I just totally fell in love so I got this instead. So right now we're just gonna talk about the steps of getting the tooth gem done, which literally takes a couple minutes. First, she just has you wash out your mouth with some mouthwash, and then she actually cleans the tooth for you, make sure it's totally dry and prepped. And then she puts on this composite, which is what glues the gem to your tooth. This is the same kind of composite that a dentist would use to glue your braces to your teeth, so it's totally fine to be in your mouth. And after we made sure that the placement was correct, then she used a UV light to seal it all in. And that's pretty much it. This is a very straightforward, non-invasive procedure. I mean, it's like slightly invasive because she's doing something in your mouth, but you don't feel any pain. There's nothing to really cringe about. The gem will typically stay in your mouth for up to six months, so it can just fall off on its own, or you can have a dentist remove it for you. It's a very straightforward thing for a dentist to do, uh, but what Courtney suggests is you should have the glue removed by a dentist. You shouldn't try and uh, scrape it off yourself. And I knew that I needed to go to the dentist in like the next couple months, so I decided to get it now, just in case I really didn't like it, but I really like it, so I think that if I got this one removed, I would just get another one in its place. There's so many different little charms you can choose from as well. Like I said before, you can get a Swarovski crystal, and in that category, there's a lot of variety. You can get different sizes, colors, shapes, and you can get little charms like Nike swoops, uh, your astrological sign, there's a really cool one that's like a little money sign, and I got a little star. It's just, I don't know, it's awesome. I think you can get so much variety. And depending on your placement, you can either be very obvious or very discreet. To be honest, I haven't had one person come out to me and be like, do you have a charm in your mouth while I've just been talking to them? I just don't think it's that obvious where mine is. And also, I mean, I don't really smile with my teeth too often, so it's not like I'm really putting it out there. If I had chosen to put this star on an upper tooth, obviously it would be much more out there and much more noticeable. But right now, it's just hidden down there and uh, kind of something just for me, which I like a lot. And I was thinking the other day, this is a much less invasive procedure than even like a piercing. You're not ripping through any flesh or anything, so if you're looking for a little bit of embellishment and you're kind of fearful of piercings, this could perhaps be a great alternative for you. Of course, I just have to put this out there. You should be going to somebody who is trained in this and who knows what they're doing, not just any odd person with some glue and some gems. Definitely do not do that. If you're in the LA area, you can contact my girl Courtney. She has two locations in Silver Lake and in Santa Monica, so I'll provide all of her information down below. And she also, like I said, does my lashes. I haven't gotten my lashes redone from her since I got my tooth gem, which like I said was, I feel like a good month and a half ago. And some of them are still going strong. I'm not wearing any eye makeup right now. I just put like a teeny bit of mascara on my upper lashes. And I just went to Korea and to Tennessee. Uh, and especially in the Tennessee humidity, my lashes lasted. So I'm very hyped on her work. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was interesting or informative to you at all. If you'd like to see more videos such as this one, please subscribe and I'll try more crazy services to review. Also, if you have any questions about tooth gems, Go ahead and write them in the comments and I will try and answer them to the best of my ability. I love y'all and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!